someone wise once said, you can never have enough VCAs. This phrase comes up a lot in Eurorack, as voltage controlled amplifiers, or VCAs for short, are at the heart of many patches, often in more places than you might realize. IntelliGel amps consist of two high quality VCAs in one 6HP module. Comprehensive controls for each channel make this one of the most versatile VCAs that you can get. Let's take a look at how we can use amps, or even multiple amps, in a Eurorack system. The most common use for a VCA is to control the level of a sound. On amps, we have a CV input, signal input, and signal output on both VCAs A and B. So a very basic patch example would be something like this. VCA A is amplifying a triangle wave from Atlantix, and Quadrax is providing a cycling envelope to shape it through the CV input. Pretty straightforward stuff. Both the output and the CV in have LED indicators so that you can visualize how the VCA is working. Green means positive voltage and red means negative voltage. The CV input can be tailored using the attenuator to control the range. The inversion switch to flip polarity. And it can also be offset manually using the slider at the top. So, as you can see, there's a lot of versatility in shaping the CV inputs on amps without the need for additional modules. Amps has a boost switch for both VCAs which allows for amplification in excess of unity gain. There are three switch positions. Selecting 0 dB, as we have now, means that boost is disabled. Plus 6 dB applies a boost which can be useful for lower level inputs or for adding a bit of overdrive. Plus 20 dB applies a boost that's ideal for converting line level signals to modular levels. And with sources already at modular level, the 20 dB boost causes a healthy amount of distortion to occur. The inputs and outputs for VCA A are normal to VCA B. This opens up a lot of possibilities with amps. With one CV source, we can control both VCAs. With one audio input, we can route to two outputs. And with one audio output, we can mix together two inputs, giving us a two to one mixer. It's worth noting that when you patch in a cable on the VCA B side, it breaks the normal connection from A. This cascaded connection from left to right can continue across multiple amps modules in one system, but more on that in a second. Using normal connections between A and B, you can turn amps into a crossfader. It's possible to set this up with either unipolar or bipolar control voltage. I'll link to the pages in the manual that explain this, but for now, I've set this up for bipolar CV. A quick explanation of what's going on then. The sliders are set to the middle as a sort of neutral position to offset against the CV input. A and B are set to opposite polarity, in this case negative and positive respectively. Attenuators are set to noon as a starting point, but you can adjust this if needed. We take one CV source, a sine LFO in this case running quite slowly, and then we have two different inputs. So from Atlantics we have the VCO A sine and the VCO B square. These are then summed at output B. Now when we listen to the resulting patch, you can hear that the output of amps is crossfading between the sine and the square wave. The phase invert switch flips the phase of VCAB's input. This is useful in a number of scenarios, and in this case we've set up amps as a ring modulator. So let's break this down. VCA A's CV polarity is positive and the attenuator is set fully clockwise. VCAB's input phase is inverted and the attenuator is fully anti-clockwise. In this configuration, when we plug in the carrier to A's input, we should hear nothing due to the phase cancellation. The sliders are both set at 50%. If I unbalance the offset for a second, you'll hear the signal come back. But for this to work, we need them phase cancelled. Then we patch a modulator into CVA and the result at output B is a ring modulated signal.
In the spirit of never enough VCAs, we've gone one step further with amps, making it possible to chain them together. In the box, you'll find a multicolored four pin cable. This connects from the output of one module to the input of the next. You can technically chain together as many as you like. I'm not sure how many we've tried here, but I'm gonna stick with three for now. In the same way that VCA-A normals to VCA-B, the chain continues on through the connected modules, so you can start to imagine how you might be able to use this, sum multiple signals to the final output. One macro CV controls all channels. Or even chain boost a signal to utter destruction. There are so many possibilities to explore. So that's Amps, a dual VCA that offers a lot of uses beyond the standard synth patch. And for those who need more VCAs in their life, multiple Amps could be the way to go. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more features and tips on our modules. I'm Matt from Intelligel. See you in the next one.